<laughs> but gentlemen, t- 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 let everyone know about Empower. What, what is that? And what, what are you guys specialized in doing? Well, Empower, and, and thank you for having me on the show. Uh, Empower is a national nonprofit that provides free tech training, career development, and holistic support for military veterans and their spouses. Uh, we also focus on young adults in the underserved communities from ages 18 to 24. Our mission is to create pathways for military veterans and their spouses in the Texas region and across the country in careers in technology. Um, I work with um, the Texas region as their director. I just joined the organization. Um, Empower um, truly is a, um, a godsend for me and a calling. And uh, as a veteran and a retired veteran, uh, I've been retired since 1995, um, I really think I understand what vets face from transitioning. I, I was very fortunate to have a number of mentors and folks that guided me along my pathway. Uh, those that said, um, um, enlisted soldier Russ, you need to um, apply to the military academy as you, uh, you just talked about. I n- didn't have a clue as to what that meant, <laughs> but it changed my life. There we go. And I've always looked for uh, helping others um, find an opportunity. When you're in the military, as uh, I'll, I'll point this out real quick, um, you just don't have the time to think about transitioning. You don't have a time to plan for a civilian career. So a lot of these veterans uh, are unprepared. Empower provides that guidance, and we provide them technology training uh, specifically in coding, uh, IT fundamentals, and cybersecurity. And these are uh, uh, training and certifications that are needed in the marketplace today, and employers are looking for that. So we're uh, looking to fulfill a large demand, as outlined by the Department of Labor and Workforce uh, s- Solutions. Um, Texas is fortunate to have a Texans Veterans Commission here, and uh, identifying those areas, uh, and you'd mentioned Dallas, specifically in our area, 1,697 yes. jobs go unfulfilled today that could be fulfilled by our group here at Empower. But now, one thing I wanted to hear, though, and, and, and a lot of veterans uh, love to, how would you say, compare stories uh, when it comes to the transitions, you know, from the military. Uh, you spoke about you spoke about veterans being prepared. And yes, we do have the transition assistance program in the military, the various uh, branches of, of the military. Uh, but when it comes to your transitions, h- how smoothly were those when you guys came out of the military? Uh, for me, I was just very fortunate, um, speaking for myself. Um, but I would tell you that the transition programs that I went through um, didn't really prepare me. I had to get outside sources and uh resources to help me get through that um right in the in the studio here i can i introduce him yes you you, so scotty um just came on board at empower is one of our internship guidance counselors um how what do you think scotty in terms of how you transitioned well i was going through career transition or experiencing career transitioning and um that's when i learned about our heroes and um allies in service and through working with Allies in Service and Our Heroes, I learned about the opportunity with uh, Empower. With a master's degree in human resources training and development, I was seeking a career or an opportunity to, to do training and development. And who who's better to do that with than veterans? I am a veteran myself. I understand the difficulty of transitioning from military life into to civilian life and, and careers. And um, I feel like I'm the perfect candidate for that opportunity, and I'm Glad to be a part of that team. And part of my job would be <clears throat> is assisting them in transitioning, obviously, into the civilian world, but also also giving them the coaching and the guidance that they need. But when it comes to Empower, what, what type of uh, trainings are we talking about? And, and, and how long is the length of the training for those uh, subjects? Yeah, oh, good questions. Um, we focus on uh, tech fundamentals. Basically, we'll give them a recognized A-plus certification this gets them the basic skills. It's about 14 weeks. Uh, we have additionally internships, apprenticeships with companies that um, 
have volunteered to um, basically provide uh, positions where they can learn and see roles in the actual workplace. Uh, in some of these cases, um, these employers will actually hire our interns. So it gives them a great opportunity to be seen in the marketplace. Um, that's about seven weeks. So all in is about 21 to 22 weeks. Very good. Very good. And with them, with their being um, military veterans, they, they actually bring a lot to the table as far as the training. So I, I know that a lot of guys, especially for me, when it came to math, the subject of math, it's pretty intimidating. But how, how do you feel the veterans actually transition into the learning aspect over at uh, Empower? Well, yes, veterans tend to bring a, a dedication, discipline, um, the character traits that you would expect. Uh, what's interesting about our process is we help we help them translate those skills into terms and jargon that the uh, corporate America knows. And we also provide them opportunities to do mock interviews, build their resumes, uh, ensure that they have that level of professionalism that presents well. Very good, very good. Uh, so as you can tell, uh, when you bring those type of skills to this type of pro- uh, training program, everything usually goes a little bit smoother uh, during the process. And I wanted to ask uh, Cleveland, uh, your, your your actual role at Empower, but uh, what was the official title the official uh, for your title, position? Uh, sorry, the, intern, uh, the official title is internship coordinator. Yes. And what we will do is, and my role basically is working with the um, um, students from beginning to end. We're with them 24-7 while they're there. Once they go to their internship placement, we will talk with them through the week to find out how it went. Um, we'll also talk with their supervisors to see how they're doing and make sure that we are giving them the support they need. So, so you're actually, when it comes to the intake process, you're asking them a lot of open-ended fact-finding questions. Uh, a, a lot of veterans, you know, we, we get kind of intimidated with the questioning and things of that nature, but you're actually trying to find out what barriers they may be facing, exactly. uh, obstacles, and any other ways that you guys can help them. But I was surprised to hear that you guys work with veterans with post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, homelessness. I mean, uh, speak to that. Very well, what quickly. we do when, when the, uh, they come to us, or our students come to us for um, an interview, we do screen them very carefully to, to identify any needs that they have. We also have a guidance counselor on board, and she works with them um, and will identify issues that they may need assistance with. So day one, we identify what some barriers they may face before they get to the workplace and prepare them to do, to um, before they go out there. Um, to feel comfortable and be functioning and have everything they need to do the, to do a good job. Very good, very good. I, I I remember when I visited your your institution or the facilities, I like to call it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I was impressed by the professionalism of, of the staff as well. Uh, a lot a lot of people there or everyone there was very engaged. Uh, they do they knew what their roles were. They knew where they were supposed to be. Everything. Uh, so the veterans, the uh, students that I happened to come across, I mean, they were happy. Uh, they were actually focused themselves, but I attributed uh, attributed that to a lot of what you guys are doing in the leadership, in the administration, in the counseling, things of that nature. Uh, but another thing that impressed me was the fact that you guys have a lot of collaborations out there, organizations. We mentioned in the last segment, Allies in Service, and, and of course, Texas Veterans Commission. I love to uh, give us a little ch- shout out as well. <laughs> mm-hmm. But you guys have uh, employers as well. Uh, mention some of the employers that you're in collaboration collaboration with. Oh, sure. Um, we've got some really staunch supporters um, over the decade. Uh, J.P. Morgan Chase comes to mind, Capital One. Uh, we are having a graduation of two of our classes uh, for coding and tech fundamentals this coming Friday, and that's going to be hosted by Microsoft at their campus out here in Irving. Um, and a shout-out to Ramel Mitchell for hosting us out there. Um, City has been also a great supporter for us and, uh, and other nonprofits. Together we do this thing called Tech Challenge, um, where together with City Empower brings in other nonprofits. And the goal there is to leverage the uh, network expertise, IT expertise of City. So they have volunteers that will come in, and uh, during a day session all day, they will present, um, uh, the nonprofits will present their biggest problems, IT wise, 
and cities IT experts will assist them in solving that problem. Uh, it's it's been an ongoing and very successful event. Um, I'd also like to uh, to mention that uh, we get additional support from like United Way here in town. So uh, a big shout out to Jennifer and wow. her group. Um, we've um, uh, worked with Accenture to uh, streamline and, and, and better focus our efforts uh, and how we do outreach. Um, you know, when we were talking uh, earlier in, about um, the different guidance counselors, and, and so we have on staff Paula Hearn. She just got, came on board, um, very well credentialed and experienced in this. Um, our main recruiter, Jody Jarrett, uh, she was a Marine Corps person. And um, always the core, who cool. Semperfy. Uh, Semperfy. <laughs> um, she has done a great job at recruiting our next class for cybersecurity. So I've got to do a public service announcement. Is that okay? Most definitely. Go okay. Ahead. So that's uh, www.npower.org. That's N is in November, power.org. And a phone number uh, locally, 214 565 one eight zero zero. You can reach me, Russ, R U S S dot Medina M E D I N A at Npower dot org. Feel free to email me. You can check out the website though at Npower dot org and see uh, what we're doing across the country. Uh, did you do you want to hear about those spots across the country? Yes, but before you do, could you repeat the phone number one more time? Sure. Uh, for those that are writing those numbers down out there. <laughs> Absolutely. Two one four. Five six five, one eight zero zero or one eight zero one. Very good. And and you were saying? Oh, I I wanted to point out that we you talked about Dallas, but we have a reach out to Texas, and we have other uh, regions in California and in the New York New Jersey area that also supports uh, veterans. Um, the point I want to make here is that veterans are global, right? And we want to get to those veterans. Uh, the information to help them transition. So they, they yes, they have GI Bill, uh, but the Empower provides them that ability to uh, get in this uh, really h- high demand area by corporations today for technology, and we can put them in those positions. Um, I, I want to I want to put that out there, and the more that we can get that message to them, and and uh, uh, the better. Um, our, our goal here in Texas to hit 3,500. We've uh, serviced uh, over 1,800 um, folks through our program. Eight, and we, 1,800? 1,800. Wow. We, we, uh, across the country. We'd like to hit 3,500 uh, just in Texas alone, but I think our goal here would be like 15,000. Very good. Very good. Now, one thing I'm, I'm pretty sure it's on a lot of people's minds out there, especially the veterans who who still care <laughs> and they know what other veterans have gone through. Uh, but when it comes to volunteering and helping in power, uh, what, 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 in what ways, and, and Christopher, you can, or I'm sorry, Cleveland, you can uh, chime in on this as well. Uh, in what ways can they get involved? Can they volunteer? Can they, are there any types of donations that they can get into anything? Uh, I'll start with that. Um, so volunteer is, we really appreciate that. So there's a lot of mentorship that goes on. Um, and what I mean by that is uh, we'll match up our students uh, with uh, employer uh, in that job workplace. Um, they will also help them do mock interviews, um, help them with their, um, their resumes, and ensure that uh, they have a realistic perspective of what they're going to be doing in the marketplace, uh, especially in an IT job. Um, several of these folks um, that have come through our program, the veterans, um, were in uh, hourly jobs. Um, several of the testimonies uh, start with they were unemployed or working minimum wage jobs and did not see a, a career path uh, to the middle class. Now, and, well, what if you're an, an executive uh, looking to hire veterans? I mean, what, what ways can they get involved? Uh, our, our executives, um, and we have many um, um, advisors to our regents, and so for this, selfishly for this year, I'm looking for uh, regional advisors. Um, there are uh, CIOs and CTOs um, for their different companies. Uh, please give me a call. Um, email me. I will help um, get you uh, into the Empower family. 
Um, there are uh, other things. Uh, we have in-kind donations that have been going out there, and we've got a very successful program. I've, I've got to mention J.P. Morgan Chase uh, on their ATM campaign. So you'll see Empower mentioned on uh, ATMs when you go um, uh, when you check out some wow, cash. Wow, that's cool. Yes. That's cool. So a big shout out there. J.P. Morgan. Yes. J.P. Morgan Chase. They're big supporters. I appreciate them. Uh, Cleveland, you, you had something to share with our veterans and listeners. Yes, um, we want the community to get involved, and we want businesses to get involved, and there's a number of ways that they can do that. We need guest speakers and presenters. Um, we'll host uh, a site visit so our students can come out and see what environment they, they can work in. We want um, people to host an apprentice or host graduation ceremonies, and we also have a graduation coming up. But we also want our students to have a, a mentor, and uh, you can also serve as a student mentor and, or provide an employment opportunity. Uh, we want to make sure that our veterans you know, are prepared to go out into the workplace, and we need your support. Now, when you say uh, uh, graduation, you mean the facility itself and, and as far as hosting it? Yes, exactly. We uh, we are a nonprofit, so we okay. would welcome anyone who can uh, – provide um, assistance through volunteering themselves or a donation or a venue. Very good. And as far as facilitation, well, you know, I've got your back. Uh, I I remember uh, again, facilitating for uh, actually this graduating class here. Yes. Uh, I actually uh, spoke to those uh, young ladies and gentlemen. uh, I think it was about three months ago, Mm -hmm. but um, you know, you guys, I've got your six, as they say. I've got mm-hmm. your six on this on this area. Okay. So if you guys don't mind, share your uh, contact information one more time. Sure. And- right. You can reach Empower on the web at um, www.npower.org, O-R-G, npower.org. You can email me at russ, R-U-S-S, dot Medina at npower.org. And our phone number, 214 565 one eight zero zero two one four five six five one eight zero zero. Our main recruiter is Jody Jarrett, and she'll be welcoming your call. Please, please call in. Um, like I wanted to mention, we have other offices across the country. I know if I mention New Jersey and Brooklyn, New York, Jersey City, Baltimore, San Francisco, Bay Area. Um, we're also in Missouri and St. Louis, and we're up in Canada and Toronto. So we've got a number of locations and regions that uh, can support, and we're always looking for um, for veterans across the country. So feel free to to um, give us a call, as well as volunteers. And that was a great point there, Scotty. Thank you. Um, so for all our listeners out there, if you really want to volunteer, there's other ways to contribute. Um, both, obviously, we'll take donations. We've got a current campaign going right now um, for $7,500. We, we cover free of charge to the to our service members an entire program that will get them a job. And $7,500 is one way that you can equate that uh, yes. benefit. So I appreciate that. Uh, and in what ways do you guys uh, differ from other, other similar uh, programs? And in, in what ways do you guys do it a little bit differently than they do? Well, I don't know if it's um, so much different, but I will tell you that our target audience right now for our students – is veterans and their spouses. Um, as you know, spouses uh, travel around the world. Uh, as my son, my, my dependent, he, he went to 12 different schools. So they don't get a chance, spouses, to uh, start their careers. So we give them that opportunity um, and uh, to, to enroll with Empower and, and get skills within uh, the technology sector. So the holistic approach is also, I think, different. Um, we, we've had a couple of individuals that... Quite frankly, we're on hard times. They came from um, in possibly um, homeless situations. Um, we've had those that have fought through addictions and uh, um, PTSD. Um, we have helped them and guided them to those resources so they can be ready for uh, training within Empower. Wow. So um, uh, we also have found, besides shelters and food, we also have been helping them with transportation. So we know that um, our veterans um, are coming in different situations. And as Scotty was eloquent in pointing out, we we really do have a holistic approach to this. We try to personalize those programs. So uh, we understand during the recruiting process and interview who we're working with. And we try to give them uh, a professional skill building. And as we talked about mentorship, 
Um, so it's it's really wraparound services. Um, uh, shout out to Men's Warehouse. They've given us uh, um, clothing, suits, so that we can dress for success. Wow, that's um, cool. And uh, in addition to, um, uh, we talked about the uh, Heroes for Hire program. Yeah, r- remind me too, I've got to get you introduced to the Recovery Resource Council. Uh, shout out to Michelle, Michelle McQueen. Uh, yes. Yes, yeah. she's a, li- a licensed uh uh, I want to say psychologist, but she covers she covers a, a, a myriad of subjects over there. But she's one of the, one of the great counselors over there. And shout out to Elaine as well. But that's an organization I'll, I'll definitely get you guys hooked up with. Uh, they uh, help those with post traumatic stress disorder, addictions, things of that nature. But uh, they're in collaboration with a lot of great organizations as well. So remind me of that. Sure, I will. <laughs> now, as far as uh, any initiatives coming up, uh, I think you guys have something going on uh, Friday night, right? Friday night is a great, <laughs> actually the class that you had spoken at, Ron, yes. as far as a guest speaker in our professional development uh, program. Um, the graduation, as I, if I had mentioned, is at Microsoft. It's um, Friday night, um, 6.30 to 8.30. Uh, we'll have 98 graduates. Um, we have uh, we're, actually I just got a call from uh, from Ramel Mitchell out there at Microsoft and Adija. Thank you for supporting us there. Uh, they explained that we are um, um, standing room only. So um, get there early, right? <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's a great event out there, and I'd like to uh, recognize our students for their uh, courageous uh, efforts to uh, reinvent themselves, to step up and uh, and do this. It uh, it's tough for a lot of these folks, and uh, we are going to continue to fight the good fight and expand our message. And uh, thank you for giving us this time. Oh, man, thank you, thank you, guys. Uh, again, I really appreciate what you guys are doing for veterans out there. There's a lot of organizations that are putting forth the effort and things of that nature, but there are some organizations that do the stellar job. You know, they go above and beyond, and and that's what you guys are doing. So again, I appreciate you guys for coming on the show. Uh, but where do you guys see yourselves in, say, maybe five years from now? Where, where do you see yourselves? Uh, Empower as an organization. Uh, Empower as an organization. First of all, um, we've got that goal. I might have mentioned 15,000. We hope to get 15,000 veterans, students in the underserved markets. And, uh, and uh, we also have that 18 to 24 um, age group in uh, with uh, students that just haven't um, – found their way yet and right. we give them that path and uh, we've been very successful at uh, connecting with them and giving them careers that uh, yeah they're, they're still doing just two-year enlistments now so <laughs> oh yeah uh, you, you ha- i'm pretty sure you see a lot of 18 to 24 year olds we do we do absolutely we'd like to see more we we really do we need to see more and get that word out there um uh, and, and thank you. I'll keep pushing that message with you, Ron, every Very time good. I see you. And I hope you'll we'll have us back and we'll uh, we'll give you some more uh, Are success you kidding? stories. Well, whenever you guys want to come <laughs> back, let me know <laughs> and I'll get you scheduled. That's definitely not a problem. One more time with the number as we close out with our final couple seconds here. Sure. Empower.org. Empower.org. And the phone number is 214-565-1800 or russ.medina at empower.org. Outstanding. And and again, Cleveland's Cleveland Scott Jr. Thank you, sir. Uh, again, uh, internship coordinator with uh, Empower and also Russ Medina, uh, who's actually uh, covering uh, probably about five more areas. So uh, we really thank you guys for coming on the show. And again, welcome back anytime. Thank, thank you for tuning us. in tonight, you guys. Uh, and uh, next week we have a.